Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and this is gonna be a full guide to get Showdown looking from this, you know, pretty solid, just normal dark mode. You know, all the battles look pretty good, all the UI looks pretty solid. But we're gonna get it from this to uh, this, or uh, or something similar. Where we get, uh, in our battles, we can have the damage calculator just automatically up like this. Absolutely beautiful. Or you can see, for example, this Electros. All my moves, all how much they do. Uh, the Sneasler, because this is random battles and the sets are always the same, he knows exactly what moves it will run. If you're running it normally, you'll have to set them manually here or whatever. But point being, you can see, right, it has three different moves that can two-hit KO them. One of them only has a 2% chance of two-hit KOing, right? My my Thunderbolt here is a 90% chance of two-hit KOing. And if I, like, play out a turn real quick, you can kind of see that go to work. You can see the damage range, right, 48.3 to 56. And if I then go on to my other browser and I just hit something on their end, you can see right, right here, Thunderbolt hits and it does exactly something in that range. Now Thunderbolt's a guaranteed kill, 8% chance with Giga Drain to get kills. But it's Neasler can out now one shot now that Sword Stance is applied, actually applies Sword Stance live and all that. And yeah, overall looks very, very solid. I, I know on the left here that the UI is a little bit bugged. Um, that's just kind of how it is. But on the whole, every generation just looks a tiny bit nice. There is a few of them that are off, because I guess the guy who made them didn't do it absolutely perfectly. But it looks really, really clean in my opinion. Very, very good. Uh, and obviously, this uh, dex extension is also amazing. But yeah, uh, let me go off and show how to install this stuff on a completely fresh install on pretty much any browser. So you can see from here, right, we have our, our normal setup. All right, this isn't even in dark mode anymore. This is just in light mode. Right, all the battles looking all normal. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go install Stylus, which will be linked in the description. Hit add extension, and you get that. And Shodex, which that's the damage calculator one. Hit get and add extension on Edge or on Chrome. You just hit add extension and it'll add extension. Then you hit the little jigsaw piece and pin them both. Uh, from here, you already have the calculator. So if I go back to like this battle, and I refresh, because you do have the refresh for things to apply. You can see, right, show decks here on the side. Uh, if I want it to be, it already is dark mode, it's already in there. But if it wasn't, I want to go to settings, and you can change the color mode from showdown to light to dark, right? So showdown will be light the same. Dark mode is dark mode. On showdown, there's dark mode. You can change the theme to dark right here. Right, and that's pretty much what I was working with before. Uh, and, and you can see right away, right? Calculator's just up and running automatically. You know, no extra hassle, no extra anything. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, that's already, that's all you have to do for the calculator. So if you're just here for the calculator, that's how you set that up. Uh, to set up the styles, though, we want to click on stylus here, hit manage. We'll get a page like this, and you want to hit get styles over here on the left. And there's two main styles that I personally uh, like using. The first one, we just type showdown, and we can go to total installs and hit search. 13 ULB's dark theme, that's the one I was showing off. Um, that's the one I personally like. To install it, you just hit install with stylus. And then install style on the top left here. And now if we already go back to showdown, you can see right there, it's applied. Beautiful. It looks exactly like it should. And if that's all you want, that's all you need. It, it's already here, it already looks amazing, it already looks really cool. Uh, if you want another theme though, and very like there's there's obviously a lot of themes here if we go back a page. You can see quite a lot of different themes here. A lot of them have their own charm and all that. But the one that I personally like is uh, from Team Trustful. This is the second best one, in my opinion, or the best one, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, we want to actually go to their page because this one, Trustful's Gen 9 Showdown skin, is out of date. Uh, you want the more in-date version. So go to Team Trustful. It's called Trustful Scarlet Violet 2.2. You can see right here, 8.5 is later than 2.20. This is the most up-to-date one. We just hit install with stylus on here. Uh, and the problem is now we're going to have two conflicting styles when we hit install style here. Uh, and we can actually... Wait, we should have managed that. I saw an option for dark mode. I'm, I'm a big fan of dark mode, so I'm going to go install it again. But hit dark mode preference and hit install style. Now the style is installed, but if we go back to showdown, you'll notice it's all broken. And that's because we have two different styles set up at the same time. Uh, first off, you just click it here, you can disable them nice and easily, but just in case this isn't here for you, if we hit manage, you can see we have two of them here, and you just hit the little checkbox and turn it off, 
And now if we go back, you'll see this is this is uh, the Gen 9, not the Gen 9, this is Trustful Scarlet and Violet thing. Uh, for some reason, it only seems to have light mode support, which is really, really annoying. That's, that's mainly why I don't use it. It looks pretty solid with light mode, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I personally prefer dark mode. But on the whole, I mean, this looks amazing, right? Gen 1 looks sick, right? Gen 9 looks really cool. They have animated backgrounds and everything. Right? You can see, like, the water flowing and all that. Uh, Gen 5 uses the same type of thing. Gen 3 has its own custom thing that looks super neat as well. And even Gen 2 has its own kind of custom thing with, yet again, animated backgrounds and everything. Uh, another thing I personally don't like is that the moves move up onto the side here, but a lot of people might like that, and especially where all the Pokemon stuff are. It's like a real Pokemon battle, that's the idea. Uh, as this was supposed to simulate how things are on the Switch, and like the Pokemon swap stuff is all here. It still works with a calculator just fine, like you can see here. Uh, for some reason the chat is really, really large though, so it makes it hard to see all of it. You can see, or I can go through all my different Pokemon and see how they take hits and, and do hits uh, just fine. And uh, yeah, those are the two main styles. That's how you install the little battle calculator extension, which is super, super useful. And uh, that's all there is to it. I mean, that's the, that's the full guide. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, uh, comments, concerns. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.